gosh. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is working. <coughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you some more mini builds that we're going to make, like a spa. We're going to start with a spa. So you, you first want to grab out some <coughs> spruce uh, stairs and trap doors. And then you want to place your... Uh, Oh gosh, what are they called? The stairs, like this. And kind of make this design where, like every other block, you place a stair, sort of. Then place trapdoors in the middle. <clears> okay. <throat> and now for the bottom, you can pick your block of choice. Um, as a drain, you could use a loom. I think a loom looks pretty good as a drain that in the middle um you could also use a armor stand um with a chainmail helmet uh for like a oh wait hold on. i think i have to do the um Let's see, um, so I need the, I think I need to place it on a slab, and I need a piston. Now let's figure out my block of choice for this. Um, I also need a redstone block just to activate this. Actually, that might actually work pretty well, because it's now off-centered, which might actually work. I don't know. I think I actually... Well, let's see. Let's, I think I'm just going to use the loom for now, but you get the point um, that you can just use a armor stand with a chainmail helmet with some pistons and stuff to kind of make that happen. Then, if you want to, place some slabs around. Kind of like this. And in each corner, you're going to want to grab, if you want to, you can, but um, any color of frog light, or just any light, <laughs> that's going to be loud. And then, I guess I'll grab out a sea lantern. And then you can place like sea pickles or like a flower pot or even like banners to act as like towels. So like sea pickles and then yeah. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to grab water. Oh, another thing. Um, this is optional. But... To make the actual thing look like it's steaming, you can actually use campfires to give off that steamy effect. Which I think actually looks really nice. Um, and then you can fill slabs with water and then bam you have your jacuzzi this looks very nice and another thing is is that you can enter through the trap doors or through the stairs either one you want so that's build number one um i hope i didn't say three mini builds because i have a couple that i wanted to build um Another one. So, a fancy nether portal. So, you want to grab an obsidian, crying obsidian, and some stone bricks, as well as stone brick slabs and stairs. And you also want to grab iron bars. Now, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to build a nether portal, but this one's going to be one block up. So, build your regular near the portal, and you can make this as big as you want, but I think my size works pretty well. Just the normal, regular size. 
And then basically, you're gonna wanna place slabs up atop and all around. And then on both sides, you can do it on both sides, but um, just make this kind of platform full of the slabs just to kind of make these stairs, I guess, around. And then you can place the stone bricks like this. Okay, next step would be the top, and I like to call this as a repaired, uh, ruined portal, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to. But then build slabs around this, like, rooftop thing that we're making. And then with your iron bars, we're basically going to go from here, up. Or, wait, no, no, wrong spot. Um, going to want to add a layer of slabs around what you just built, so like the base of it. And then you're going to build on the corners with iron bars. And you can add some lanterns and even some gold blocks to the top. So, like, at the top, what you could do is you could add your gold blocks, and then you could add slabs here. I'll show you what that looks like. So, gold blocks. And, yeah, this looks really nice, I think. Um, I think, actually, it looks really good. And then you can light your nether portal, and it looks really cool. And very aesthetic to a ruined portal kind of look. Okay, the next thing that we're going to build is, um, is this, like, I don't really know how to, like, explain it. Oh, yeah, um, like, a pretty good survival starter house. Um, so you wanna just follow these steps. I can't really explain how to build this very well, but then, um... But yeah, so this is going to be the base. Okay, so build up, three blocks up, and then you want to make three blocks apart, three blocks apart for each log. And then you could make this in any size you wanted. Um, it doesn't have to just be these sizes. Um, like you can add way more to the back and stuff. Um, but we're just gonna make this one quick and easy. So build up like this and then place spruce or just any wood type that you kind of want to put as your base. Now, um, for doors, for the, like the front door and stuff, I would recommend using dark oak doors because they have that like gold handlebar and it blends in really well like different wood types blend in with uh this build this is a build that would go very well on more of a like uh more of like a build competition for the best starter race that's easy to make then um use your stripped logs and build up Just like this. Um, it doesn't have to be stripped. Um, it can be something else. And then you can also build up your base with spruce. Um, now, here's kind of how the pattern of the walls will go. So it'll go up two blocks like this and then across. But if you're filling in a wall, like here I'm going to make a window. So you'd make it like this. So for the window. But for like a wall, we just go two up, and then you kind of want to condition it like this, sort of, and make something there. Um, this doesn't have to be stripped wood, but I actually do really like the looks of it. Okay, 
Then with your barrels, you're going to want to place them like this, just with the stairs. So you can store stuff like fishing stuff and other things in here. Um, if you grab some oak leaves, you can place them on the sides. Down below here will be the entrance right, to like a basement or even just a tiny farm that you want to build down here. But then you can leave a space open for trapdoors and other things. Okay, then grab out spruce fences and spruce fence gates. Now, if you're using birch, um, do birch for this and then use oak. Always pretty much use oak, unless you're doing dark oak and stuff. But pretty much always use stripped oak for the walls. Looks really good with, like, any wood, other than acacia. Um... But then, you want to build them like this, and this kind of, like, makes, like, an upper, above area, and an easy escape to the outdoors. Now, I'm just going to grab classic red bed and lanterns. Um, you can use any kind of lantern. Any lantern works. Um, put that one for the front door, and then you can grab a fence just for up here to place a lantern. Now, on the inside, what we're going to do is we are going to grab stairs and slabs. And so for the inside, I usually like to place either a bed here, bed here, or bed here, bed here. And then you can place like your choice of jukebox. Now I'm going to place mine right here and move my window over like this. That way you get that kind of 3D view. Um, the next thing you want to do, shoot, I just put away my spruce slabs and stuff. But the next thing you want to do is you want to grab out your fences and go along here. Um, this design was made by me. Um, I think it's a really great starter base. If you're just looking for something easy and you have good wood types to work with. Um, to like use on this build. The next thing you want to do is you want to build on this roof with slabs now for the roof lighting you can place lanterns in the corners of the house or my favorite grabbing out sea lantern or frog lights uh, of any choice any variant um, and then going like this one two three for right here leave one block gap or actually two block gap and then just break out through here and then add your frog lights, or sea lanterns, or just lanterns in those corners. Um, and then, actually wait, I think I, yeah. And then you want to grab a trap door, instead of slabs, because slabs are a bit too big. So I like to put, uh, uh I forgot what they're called, trap doors over them. And then you want to grab out your dark oak doors, or just any door that you like to use, and place them here. And then you can add your interior, like, chests or barrels, either one. Um, and then you grab your furnaces, both variants if you want to, and then your crafting table. And then I'll grab out charcoal just to fill the furnaces. But then you want to play, place your chests or barrels. And then since these the roof is made of slabs, you can open these top chests. Then place your furnace and then your blast furnace. And then you want to grab trapdoors. And you want to place them up on the side to cover up this side okay and then I forgot to fill the furnaces whatever and then you want to grab out your glass or glass panes either one looks good for this design and then let's see the after results here are the after results Okay, well, thank you guys for watching, and I got, I'm going to edit here three mini builds again. Well, this one's kind of big, I guess, but yeah. Bye, guys. See you later next time.